said he had close family. They'll just want revenge. Kill the family first. Then he'll get angry and come at you stupid. And then you kill him. I don't think I know you, human. I'm the Patriarch. Arius Patriarch. What do you want? Why do they call you Patriarch? It's like an Asari Matriarch, only male. It was Arya's little joke. After she took me down, she let me live. Kept me around as an advisor and a trophy. A Krogan as old as you must have some great stories. I killed a lot of people, lived well, and was beaten by a small Asari who keeps me around as an example. My time is done. Anyone I killed is long forgotten. The stories are Arya's now. What do you know about Arya? Uh, a few centuries ago, Omega was my rock. When Arya arrived, she had nothing but the clothes on her back. I thought she was another dancer. <laughs> she killed half my men and convinced the rest that she could run this place better than I did. Came for me here in this bar. We tore this place apart. She crushed one of my hearts, shattered half the bones of my body, and left me alive. What made her decide to leave you alive? No, she doesn't destroy what she can use. She said I could have all my old comforts if I served as her advisor. I knew how things worked. I knew who to lean on, who to smack down, who to smile at. And everyone who respected me saw me beaten, broken. They knew that as strong as I'd been, she was stronger. I should be gone. Arya has work for you. Yeah. Arya has a job she needs doing. You up for some work? That depends on what Arya has in mind. Arya's gotten word that some blood-packed mercs plan to kill an old acquaintance of hers. A Krogan named Patriarch. She'd like you to keep that from happening. What's the blood pack's problem with Patriarch? If you've met Patriarch, you know. He can't keep his damn mouth shut. Some people don't appreciate his stories. Especially when he dips into non-fiction. What's Arya's interest in protecting him? Patriarch was one of her deadliest enemies back in the old days. Now she keeps what's left of him around as a trophy. As long as he lives, he's a perfect example of what happens when you go up against Arya. Why come to me? Arya's usual muscle not up for the job? Because Arya said so. What other reason do you need? People like Arya don't do things without a damn good reason. I want to hear it. Fine, but I didn't tell you this, got me? If it gets out that Arya's protecting Patriarch, well, that can look like a weakness. And some people might want to exploit that. You're not on a payroll, so you helping Patriarch just seems like a random act of kindness. I'll look into it. Good. Patriarch's downstairs, likely surrounded by his fans. Get him into hiding until the mercs move on. Come back here when it's done, and you'll get your due. I'll be back when the job's done. Good luck. You again. Greetings. Some people want you dead. I've been asked to move you to safety. Well, of course. Arya wouldn't want me hurt. It would make her look bad. But perhaps Arya's reputation is no longer my concern. Perhaps I will stay, and see who thinks me important enough to kill. Here's an idea. Let me handle the assassins for you. And so your name grows, while I remain an old man who lets others fight his battle. No. You remain a powerful warlord with forces at his command. Now it's just Arya's trophy. Well, you could... You could be my Trent. Fighting for my honor. If you would do this for me, I would be grateful. I might even be a Krogan again. Out of our way, human. You 
here for Patriarch? What if we are? You gonna do something about it? Patriarch sent us. Said to do whatever it takes. Your Patriarch's Krant? I wasn't aware the old man had one. You should have done your homework. Everyone knows that the Patriarch is not to be crossed. Thanks to you, Arya may think of me as more than a trophy. A real advisor, maybe. Or even a threat. Take care, Patriarch. For the first time, I like that name. By the way, be careful with Arya. She will approve of what you've done. I think. But not of you altering the balance of Omega. I think it reminds her too much of herself. Arya wants to speak with you. She heard you took on the Blood Pack assassins yourself. I wouldn't keep her waiting. Word has it that Patriarch's Krant took out the men set here to kill him. Funny, I didn't know he had a Krant. Patriarch has more influence than you thought. I see. Well, maybe I should watch my back then. It's not what I asked, but you got the job done. Do you need something else? This data pad was on one of the mercs going after Archangel. We're coming for you next. Let me see. Interesting. Would someone like to tell me how this information slipped the net? Uh, I'll, I'll look into it. You've done a lot for me, Shepard. Let me return the favor. We're sending your coordinates to a cache on an uncharted world. You want it? It's yours. I'm not looking for payment from you. Look at you. So proud. Whatever you find is yours to deal with. Complaining is pointless, human. There's a plague. Nobody gets in or out. I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. There's a Salarian named Morden Solis in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? Yeah, a crazy bastard opened a clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck, but the area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the Blue Suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. Listen, you're stuck here till this quarantine's over. That could take weeks. What you really need is to get this problem solved right now. That's what I do. Solve problems. Let me in and I'll get this district straightened out. You think you can fix this? Why not? Quarantine is more to keep infected people in anyway. I'll radio ahead, tell them you're coming in. Wait, you're stopping me but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. We're all human. The plague won't affect us. Let's do it. Good luck in there. The blue suns and Vorcha are shooting anything that moves.
Target down! I've seen a lot of bad before. This is worse. Way worse. Human. Should have guessed. <coughs> bad enough you infect us with this plague. Now you lack the decency to even wait until I die before you come to steal my possessions. <coughs> is there anything I can do for you? Get away from me, human! <coughs> Your kind has done too much already. Your plague did this to me. Your faint pity is the final insult. I need to find Morden Solus. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <coughs> I hope the Vorture burned Morden and his clinic to the ground. <coughs> I hope you... <coughs> I hope... <coughs> Damn it! Damn you! Can't! Hey, stay with me. This won't cure the plague, but it might help a bit. <coughs> oh, you... You help me. Why? It's what I do. I don't know if I can find a cure for this plague, but I'm gonna try. Your words sound... sincere. <laughs> Maybe it's the fever. But as you said, what have I to lose? What do you wish to know? Why are you so convinced humans are behind this outbreak? The plague is too potent to be a naturally occurring virus. Airborne transmission across numerous species near perfect mortality rate, it had to be created in a lab. And since humans are the only species not affected, there is only one logical conclusion. Aren't the Vorcha immune to the plague? What if they spread the virus so they could take over the district? Vorcha are immune to disease. <coughs> a human-created plague wouldn't affect them. But if the Vorcha created the plague, why wouldn't it affect humans? Uh, besides, the Vorcha aren't smart enough to make a virus like this. They're scavengers. <laughs> Sorry, human. <laughs> you may not want to believe it, but all the evidence points to your species. I need to find Morden Solus. He has a clinic on the far side of the district. He's taking in refugees, offering to help those infected with the plague. I was afraid to go to him before. He is dangerous, but perhaps he can help. What makes Morden worse than dying from the plague? The Blue Sons tried to press him for protection money. He killed them, stunned them with some kind of toxin, then gunned them down. He's not just a doctor. Doctors don't execute people and display the bodies as a warning. <laughs> you were talking about Vorcha earlier. Before the quarantine, the Blue Sons controlled this district. But as their numbers fell to the plague, Vorcha moved in. The Blue Suns are fighting to protect their territory. But as the plague spreads, it's only a matter of time until the Vorcha overwhelm them. Aren't the Vorcha immune to the plague? What if they spread the virus so they could take over the district? Vorcha are immune to disease. Besides, sorry, human. <laughs> you may not want to believe it. But all the evidence points to your species. I should go. Goodbye, you.
should come in handy. Suns have given up a lot of turf. That doesn't bode well for them. 